Hey guys. Uh, sound quality today is a bit shitty because I don't have a camera so I had to record everything inside the computer at the same time and so things might sound a bit funny so anyway today I'm gonna talk to you about how I do my live act that's right how I do my live act I used to do it uh, using Ableton Ableton live but um, because I, I, I break every every single one of my tracks into eight channels and I had quite a lot of tracks going on uh, per live act um, I faced a problem, a strange memory problem uh, I put it on, on forums and stuff but nobody could help me not even the, uh, the, Ableton, uh, the Ableton guys could help me so I, I said now nah, man I, I gotta do live act anyway so temporarily I changed to Studio One uh, which doesn't give me any problems and it runs smoothly uh, the only thing is that I, I, can't, I can't change the, the, um, the songs structure and that's something that I was doing in Ableton Live but anyway uh, it's still good it's still all good it still works well uh, what I'm doing now is I have all the um, each track is separated by eight, eight different channels let me show you here so I use these two machines uh, the BCR uh, 2000 and you can see here each track is is separated like first track is kick and bass second one is percussion third loops and crash four low leads five mid leads six high leads seven background and eight is speech like vocals and stuff like that same same goes here on my same goes here on my ABC 20 this is what I used to, to use for, for Ableton uh, but um, now I still use it but I use mainly it's this section here so mutes, solos and uh, and the volumes uh, on the um, on the BCR I got um, different you got 32 presets here right and you can program each preset to do whatever you want so uh, I got I use three presets when I'm doing live EQ sends and then I got limiter EQ and uh, stuff where I have my guitar my guitar um, some guitar controls and if I, I just wanna show you uh, if you can see anything yeah, it's fucked up camera right th that's my live act that's the structure so I got like it's my kick and bass and that's all the tracks so I, I mix kick and bass from one track with kick and bass from the other track and then I got percussion I do the same for percussion and low leads and mid leads and high leads uh, for background and speech as well then I got here my guitar guitar input where I add my guitar usually the only thing that I see when I'm doing my live act is my mixer so just that that's there's my mixer right there uh, if I if I go and lower one of these channels you see on my mixer see that going right so I got my my solo see solo there solo there my, my mutes so you got mute going on there I know it's hard to see but like I said I need some donations so that I can get a better camera and can show you better uh, stuff a bit better anyway uh, I think you got kind of got the clue of what it is I just wanted to give you a little demo I gotta set the camera here a little bit see if I can point it right so I do have a yeah uh, I have an automation track an automation track um, with a limiter I got a limiter on my master bus and there's an automation track that uh, automates the threshold of that limiter so from track to track it's like um, a mastering mastering is happening right there a little bit of mastering uh, so that every track is um, the sound RMS wise is all, all uh, uh, similar so I'm actually doing uh, mastering on the 
on the go in a way but uh, through automation so each each track has a uh, different parameters for the mastering so I'm using automation to do that on a limiter um, so I got I got double glitch double glitch for my kick and bass uh, so if I play a bit of my track uh, I hope you can hear some of it if I solo that just solo that right kick and bass soloed right if I turn on my double glitch and I turn it back on and I can control up here is like the um, double glitch different uh, effects so if I select one of them and then activate double glitch only get the kick right or another one so you see it's, a, it's quite a lot of stuff that you can do for kick and bass using the double glitch you can use the double glitch in anywhere I got uh, other effects going or going as well um, so can play a bit for my hi-hats I got a little phaser going on off kind of thing so different effects for, for different types of uh, uh, audio sources so loops and crash that's another thing for low leads another thing and so I got these three presets. So num number 17, I have uh, EQ. So this is my low, my mid, and my high uh, for each one of the channels. And if I uh, d different ones, um, for example, the kick, my low, mid, and high, uh, they affect different areas that are more predominant for the kick. So my low would affect my sub bass, my mid would affect my low bass, like 200 hertz, something like that, and my high would affect uh, would be like a high shell filter uh, affecting anything from uh, 300 and up, and high shelving up and down. Uh, for the hi hats, obviously uh, my low. When I refer myself to the hi hats, my low would be uh, something like um, 1k or something like that. So it's different different settings for for each audio source according to the audio source in question. The same goes with the effects, different effects, the best effects that work, and it's like on-off effects. Uh, also have high pass and low pass um, uh, for every everything. So I can have um, on my hi hats, for example, if I go for my low pass. Or for my kick and bass, I can go low pass. Or a high pass. Hang on. Then I also have a um, gain uh, there. So in some some occasions, in some some gigs, I don't uh, I don't take my APC. So I, I try to minimize gear. So I, I'll just take my um, my BCR. And so, uh, for my BCR, I'll have my gains are set up here as well. So that's that's basically it. Yeah. Uh, and obviously, I got send set up. Uh, so number 18, my patch number 18 is is all sends. I got uh, reverb on top. I got uh, long delay uh, in the middle, and I got uh, short delay in the bottom. Uh, uh, actually, that way around. Short delay and long delay. So long delay, short delay, and a delay and a reverb. So I can have like uh, my hi hats playing, and I want some reverb. So 
some delay. And the funny thing is that uh, I, I have my delays in um, I have my delays in uh, I think it's post yeah post uh, pre fader actually so I can do this can have like delays. You can just listen to the delay without the audio source. So there's nothing happening. And I can make the the sound come come in with just the delay. Or the reverb. And then add the sound. That's it. Um, that's how I do my live act, and obviously then I have the guitar, uh, where I use my foot pedal to add effects to the guitar and stuff like that. And that's how it goes. Um, I just want to do a shout out to to the people that uh, really uh, organize their live acts in a way that you can actually call them live acts because you're doing quite a lot live and. Uh, you know, there's some people out there that just press play, and I think that's a, that's a rip-off, really. I mean, if you just press play, I know you got a lot of work at home, doing your tracks and all that, but if you just press play, it's, it's a bit of a rip-off. I don't know how you, can, how you guys can live with yourselves doing something like that, but it's up to you guys, you know. So that's our video. Remember to subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and SoundCloud. Uh, give us a donation so I can get some better quality. Uh, this is crap quality, you know. You can see that, and um, and that's it, guys. See you on the next video. Tomorrow uh, we'll be talking about. We're gonna do another massive lead. It's gonna be a bit darker than yesterday's lead. It's gonna be quite dark. This one, I think you're gonna like this one better. And it's it's not as lengthy. Uh, the tutorial is not as big as as the other one. So, I'll see you there. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.